So this is Sir Jonathan Darab, and I wanna shout out to um, Sir Raymond Mamtonet. All of their contact details and links to their pages will be in the description down below. Thank you, sir, so so much for making this test drive possible, and hopefully, can do more uh, future reviews with you guys. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is the new Nissan Navara Pro 4X. This is the top of the line variant of the Navara. Uh, this is still a D23 version but it has been facelifted as you can see. Actually the only thing that retains from the previous uh, model is the engine and the dashboard inside. That's pretty, that's pretty much it. Uh, so you have, so this one looks aggressive, kind of like for your Raptor competitors and Hilux Conquest competitors. So you have your new badge with an orange uh, Nissan logo. That I like the look. So this has a weighting depth of 600 millimeters. I forgot the gun clips. Just put them here. Pro 4X has the best in-class features. You can just pause it here. I can't read everything because it's so hot. <laughs> anyway, uh, you have a step guard here. That's high. You have uh, plastic cladding all around. With ref this is not a reflector. That's a, a painted... Uh, cladding is orange it looks fine you have new sets of wheels too new set new type of wheel suspension you have a new pro 4x logo which is uh trending for top of the line pickup variants around the philippines right now also you have Nissan logo back here still cool actually there are lots of colors of the navar but for some reason i like the white one this is probably my first one that's why i like it in white but yeah, it looks cool nevertheless. Also, if you can see the bed, it's sloping a bit. So that's because if you, for example, carry a lot of items like trees, plants, weights, whatever you want to put in the back there, the, the rear will spot so it will become even. That's why for now, without the load, the bed looks slanted up, upwards. So it kind of gives it a stance. So the tailgate has a torsion spring assist. So it's not that heavy, I can look, I can just do it with one arm. This is the, how the bed looks like. The, the thing is, there is no bed liner in this Navarro, but anyway, it's fine. You can just aftermarket it whatsoever. You have your C-channels here, so you can just carry all kinds of cargo, whatever you want in the back. More hooks up there. The length of the bed is 60 uh, inches, the width is 61 inches, and the height is 21 inches that's plus two from the previous model the load capacity of this is 1017 kilograms so width in between the wheelhouses is 44 inches i didn't have, i didn't even know there was such a thing like that but okay that's cool to know so the front panel side that's what i said earlier the squat is an inch higher so to give it the sloping look of it so everything new about the 2021 Nissan Navara are the new rear link suspension di a geometry, differential housing, pan hard bob, bob start, the dual rate uh, coil spring, I'm not sure if you can see there, the, the, the abbreviation is DRS, not the reduction system, but dual rate spring. So your firm rate is uh, up here, then your soft rate is down there. Also, enlarged drum brakes. The panel gap of the wheel now is now seven inches compared to the six to the six, right? Compared to the six to the previous model. Sorry, wheel well from not from up here to the tire, not the wheel itself. Just that's how big it is. It's an inch higher than the previous model. So here in the back of the Nissan Navara, uh, there's a lot of feet room and leg room, but then no see pockets here. Headroom is also excellent, I can say. Uh, we used to own a uh, previous generation Mitsubishi Strada I can say this has a tiny bit slope not as extreme as the Strada but I can say I'm comfortable here in the back but not sure yet when it drives I'll know later uh, so here in the back we have two air vents at least but what was this for anyway uh, you have a USB port here just one the seats here in the back feature a raised rear cushion 
so you so it's kind of like an extended thigh support so it feels feels very comfortable in here i, I should say also you have your uh central armrest here you know there's no cover for these cup holders but at least it does not get in the way of your arm not like that horizontal one as uh, the vertical one sorry yeah that's fine that's very good at least there's a central armrest here so let's go to the front So here in the front of the Nissan Navara, I really like this uh, new logo of Nissan, the orange or red, whatever it is. Don't mind that, no? the keys outside with Sir Jonathan. So you have seat, new seats here, the Pro 4X logo, that's cool. These are zero gravity seats. Uh, basically, they're made from NASA. Yes, NASA. So that what, what it does, it helps um, lessen the, the, the feel of the bumps when you're driving around. And technically, it makes it uh, more comfortable. I, I drove this here in this parking lot I can say the my first drive on it it's really really comfortable it's probably one of my favorite ever seats in a pickup truck so here in the central armrest you have one USB-C a USB port one 12 volt socket it's not that big but it's deep enough two cup holders here blank why do you need blank pods anyway manual handbrake gear shift your space for your phone here one USB port here on an aux cord, that's cool. Your, cent your rear diff lock only. Heel descent control, parking sensors, and another 12 volt socket. Oops, another 12 volt socket here. And your drive modes here two, two wheel drive, four high, and then low range. Four low, sorry. Oh god. There, you got a good boy back. You have cup holders on either side as well. And one there. Traction, uh, electronic stability control here, two more blank buttons, adjustments for the light, trip reset. So digital cast, this is the same in the old Navara, I don't know it because I've never driven it, but that's what they keep saying, the reviews I see. So that's what I've been averaging so far. So let's see after the test drive, uh, what the fuel consumption is. So, so far I know that's good. And for what, what this is a pickup truck, that's really really good. So you have your uh, digital class here with uh, different uh, displays. So uh, actually my favorite one is just the fuel consumption. So I'm just going to leave it there at the moment. Sunshade here. And then visors are actually quite small but they're wide. Let's uh, see. Nope. Anyway, it's fine. So that's pretty much about it. Oh yeah, um, manual adjustments for the seats only. There are no electronic aids here whatsoever. And, oh yeah, forgot, probably a place for your vlogging camera and a 12 volt socket here. Uh, let's show you the engine right now. I'll just test the camera there right now. So it fits, but it has to be like that. So I know this will fall down during the drive, but it fits, it does, it per it does its purpose. So you just have to buy something here to, to make it look like that and won't fall. So I'm not going to use this setup. But at least there is. So open up the engine. You have a two and a half liter, uh, four cylinder turbocharged diesel engine. Uh, I, I couldn't record it because it was so heavy and so tall. So I asked Sir Jonathan for help. So thank you very much. So this produces 190 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. And uh, Paired, it's paired to a 7-speed automatic transmission with a manual mode, so that's uh, I like that already because most uh, automatics nowadays don't have a manual mode, but this one has. And the fuel tank capacity is 80 liters, so that's a big boy. <laughs> uh, so I forgot to mention the modes is a part-time uh, sh shift on the fly four-wheel drive system. So I'm gonna leave it in two-wheel drive the whole time because we're look we're just in a city. I know I think you know where this is by now but anyway a uh, 0100 kph is done in 12.2 seconds so that's for me that's enough it's not the fastest thing in the world but the torque of this is pretty cool on the way here I was already surprised with how much torque this has so right now let's go for a drive I, I'm really excited sorry this is really this is a new car I can't, I can't believe I'm getting my hands on one of these so early and I barely see any of this on the road like I only see old generation units, not the new ones yet. So yeah, let's go. Let's go. Really, really excited. 
So I'm here right now on the new Nissan Navara. First impressions. I thought there's no driving modes whatsoever. No eco, no normal, no sport. There's just one mode. Uh, first impressions on it. Uh, the total response. Yes, there's lag. This is a turbocharged turbo diesel engine. Uh, but it's not as laggy as a as my as our old Strada before. Just the previous gen and not the new one. I, I cannot compare the new one because I have not driven it. Uh, there's a one second lag only. That's it. But everything else is actually a smooth and uh, fast drive. The engine's very torquey, which I like. Staying for staying for this is also very like kind of forget you're in a you're in a pickup truck. Feels more like sedan like. And there's a lot of feel to the steering wheel, as I mentioned uh, earlier. So brakes of this as well, uh, unlike the our old Strada, one byte is slowing down. The next, then the next byte it's full stop. This one, um, it's more of a prog progressive uh, byte on it. So this is that's a really good thing. So in, so in case you're like uh, doing heavy start stop traffic, you're not gonna stop all of us uh, all of a sudden. So at first, yes, this is a pickup truck, so it's a bit intimidating. In the parking earlier, I was intimidated by the height, that's what I forgot. And thank God nothing happened because this is not my car. Okay, this is also a more powerful engine than the previous model. And I can say it's quite fast. Not bad for a pickup truck and for what it is at this size, very impressive. Horns funny. <laughs> Bumps on this, not no problem whatsoever. So it rides humps and bumps like there's nothing on it apart from that one, but it's still comfortable. <laughs> so I enjoyed the torquiness of this engine, if that's even a word. Uh, what else to say? Fuel economies. Uh, as I showed earlier in the interior, it's still the same, 14.1 liters per 100 kilometers, which is this much in kilometers per liter. So, big pickup truck diesel engine, still not bad. Okay, the engine sound, you can hear the diesel engine. Uh, so, that is, it's fine. Maybe need and which needs improvement, but I don't think uh, I don't think so. Maybe on the engine part, but everything else here in the cabin, it's it's quiet. And here's a hum demonstration. Nothing at all. Sorry if the camera is not that stable. And also out of all of the pickup stuff, this is probably the most comfortable one because of the rear suspension I mentioned earlier. I think it's also one of the most uh, comfortable uh, pickups in its class as well. So that's why people bought a lot of Navaras as well. And it's so refreshing that I'm um, in a pickup and it's automatic because our old Strada was a manual so that was quite hard for me, just for me, quite hard to drive in the city. So this one is this one's so easy to drive. Uh, and also the 7 speed mode is responsive enough but I don't think you'll need manual mode the, all the way. I, I just leave it in uh, automatic. So navigation around the city, I mean like the steering and uh, turning circle. Turning circle, yes, it's quite big but going to corners, yes, there's a bit of body lean. It's a truck but it's the steering is like so it's kind of easy to drive around the city as well. So that's, that's probably the biggest improvement of this car along with the rear suspension and everything else. Probably. Basically the whole thing. So at this price point, I say wala pa tong safeguard, right? Ah, uh, meron na. Ah, meron na. So, I'll update that link because of the safeguard duty. We we'll call that safeguard duty, safeguard sir, no? Duty. Yeah. So, f this, so it's quite expensive, but nas it's like smack in the middle of its competition. So, it's it's still cheaper than a Strada. I think a Strada and a Hilux. And then also a Raptor. So, that's good. Also, visibility very good, and the sensors help that because, of course, this is we're in Manila. This is always bump, bumper to bumper traffic. So I really like this new Navara. It impressed me so much. So hope you like and subscribe, and I'll see you with more car reviews in the future. Bye bye.